Welcome to a new video from Excel Data Analysis Series PQB or Power Query Basics. This video PQB09, we are still talking about data transformation. Today we are going to see how we can use merge queries to merge data from two different tables. We are going to continue the same example that we started in the previous video PQB08. So let me remind you with the previous video. In the previous video, we saw how we can use append to bring the sales data from three different tables into one table. In order to have accurate or proper append, we need to unify the number of columns, the header names, and the data type. In this video, we are going to see how we can use merge queries to bring product data into the sales table, meaning that we are going to use something similar to the VLOOKUP function. And not only this, we are going to use a join kind called left outer, meaning that if we want to use the same functionality of the VLOOKUP inside Power Query, we need to do merge queries with a join kind left outer. There is more than one join kind in the merge queries, but in this video, we are going to focus on the left outer. If you want to follow along while watching the video, or even if you want to practice after watching the video, please go down in the description section. You will find the link. Please use it to download the Excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos. In video PQB08, we started with the three years sales, sales for 2017, 2018, and 2019, and we managed to get all of them using append in one table, as you can see here. And if you look at the right hand side, we have three queries, three different queries for every year, 2017, 18, 19, and finally, we have the 208 rows appended in one query called all years and also loaded into a table, as you can see here in the all years tab. If you remember that we had 2017 in six columns, however, 2018 was in only four columns and 2019 was in five columns. And if you check here, we didn't have the revenue calculated inside the original data. However, we managed to calculate the revenue inside the query and we unified the number of columns and the names of the columns in order to get the all years right and correct and all data in one table and we agreed that we need to create a yearly report for this sales however on the first column on the left hand side we can see we have the product id but we don't have the product name or the product category which is required if you want to create a meaningful report we are going to use merge queries in order to bring the name of the product and the category inside this table so we can create a proper report but this time the data not inside this excel workbook it's saved in a csv file somewhere else so we need power query to go and connect to this csv file and in order to do this we need to go to the data ribbon on the left hand side we can see the get and transform and we can use this icon if you hover over it you will see text slash csv so we can just click on this or you can go to get data and from file and you have the second option from text or csv i'm going to click on this it will open the explorer asking you where exactly your file here is my file i'm just going to select it and click on import it will trigger the power query navigator in the navigator window you can see a preview of the data it's coming in three columns, product ID, product and category. And here is exactly what we want to do. We want to use the column product and join it with the product ID inside our sales table. So we can bring the name of the product and the category inside this table. Then we can do a quick and accurate pivot table report. So we are going to use transform as usual this will trigger the power query editor on the right hand side you can see the name of the query product lookup inherited from the name of the csv file which is fine for me we have three applied steps the source when we point to the data then promoted header you can see here we have column one column two column three and then the first row was the headers 
of this table if you click on the second step you, you can see that the headers promoted and finally excel try to detect the data types and for me it's fine because you can see one two three for product id which is number and abc abc for product and category meaning is text so for me this is okay i am ready to close and load close and load to no need for me to load this anywhere so i'm going to select only create connection and click on ok you will see here on the right hand side we have now five queries and here is the new query that we just created now i want to use these two queries to merge them together to bring the data inside one table i can do this again from the data ribbon from get data i can click on the arrow down here and go down to combine queries i have two options append that we used last time this time we can use merge however if i selected merge from here it will create a new query and join the two tables together in one new query but this is not what i want to do i want to bring the data from the product lookup inside this table so i can do this from inside the power query editor itself so i'm going to select all years and double click it will open again the power query editor and while selecting the all years query i have here all my sales data for three years i can go to home and from home the combine section i can use merge queries and click the merge dialog box will open and it is divided into two sections the upper section includes the first table which is our all years table or query and you can see here a small preview of the data of this table i have here the five columns and like six or seven rows as a preview for the table in the below section i can select the second query or the second table that i want to join with the all years table in my case i'm going to select from the drop down menu i'm going to select the product lookup again i can see a preview or a small preview here in the lower section of the window and also in this window you can select the join kind you can see here the join kind by default it's left outer and we said that left outer is doing exactly what vlookup doing in the normal excel formulas and if you select the drop down menu you can see plenty of other join kinds however today we are going to focus on this next time we are going to talk about the rest of the join kinds if you look at these two tables you can find that there is a common column between them which is the product id so it's making sense that the merge will happen by joining these two columns together so i'm going to tell the power query that i want to join these two tables using the product id in order to do this let me select from the header product id in the first table then i'm going to select the product id also from the header in the second table if you look down you will find something loading and something saying that estimating matches based on data previews now the estimation is done and you can see that 208 rows was matched with 208 rows meaning that every product id that we have in all years table we found a match for it in the product lookup table which is perfect we are ready and we can click on ok once we click on ok a new column will be created and the header of the column will be the name of the other table or the second table and you can see here below the header you can see table and table and table and table and there is no data just the word table but if you select from the white space here from the white area from the empty area here on the right hand side you can see below this is exactly the data inside this small table so inside each cell we have a table and if you want to, to preview the data of this table you can just select from the empty space and look down you will see the content of this table meaning that for 2023 after doing the match or the join you can see that a small table created containing one record the 2023 in the other table correspondent to the wheels as a product name and category as a component name but this is not exactly what we want we want to bring the data itself here so we need to create two columns instead of this column containing let's say for 2023 we need to see here in two columns product category the product should be wheels and the category need to be 
component in order to do this it's very easy if you look at the header of this column you will see two arrows this means that you can expand this column once you select these two arrows it will open a small dialog box and asking you what exactly you want to expand for us we don't need the product id because it's already here in the first table so i'm going to uncheck the product id so i need only the product and category and also i'm going to uncheck use original column name as a prefix because it will prolong the header of the column once i click on ok two columns will be created one for the product and one for the category and now i have all the data complete in order to do my report some small transformation also may be required i want to just get rid of the product id now because it will not be used in the report i'm going to select from the header and remove column also i think the order need to be a little bit different so let me select the category from the header press on control and select product from the header and using the mouse i'm going to drag them to the left so we have the category then product date quantity price and revenue i think we are ready we can close and load so i'm going to use this button close and load or i can just use the red x from the top right and just close the window but i have to select keep in order to keep my changes the power query editor will close and also the all years query will be reloaded and you will see now the 208 rows is loading and also this table will be changed just after the completion of the loading of the query now the 208 thousand rows loaded and the table also updated to reflect our changes you can see on the left hand side the category then product date quantity price and revenue i think now we are ready to create our pivot table report if you want to see the example from the beginning to see also the append you will see now a link on top of this video you can just use it to go directly to video pqb08 so let's start to quickly build pivot table report while selecting any cell inside this table i'm going to use the keyboard shortcut alt and v it will open the create pivot table window it's depend on table all years i am going to select existing worksheet let me put it in h4 and click on ok a pivot table will be created let's quickly build our report i'm going to select date and drop it in the rows it will group automatically the dates and this is exactly what i want so let me take out the date itself i'm going to take out also quarters and i'm going to put the years in the columns then let's take the revenue and drop it in the value let me quickly do some number formatting right click number format currency and zero decimal places and okay let me bring the category in the rows and then product under category and here you go you have a very nice yearly sales report by category and product name the data was in different sources three of them was in three separate tables as you can see here we managed to use a pen to bring all together and also the product information was in a different csv file we just connect on this and we bring all data together and created a very nice and quick report in next video pqb10 we are going to continue with merge however this time we're going to see the full outer the inner left and right anti why because we are going to compare between two tables we have two different list of names in two different tables and we are going to run a complete report of comparison between the two tables finally if you didn't subscribe yet to the channel please subscribe like the video if you like it and leave me a comment that was all for today hope that was useful for you and see you in next video and bye